What's going on, guys? It's Lotto Drendel here. Um, give me a second here. I need to cut the light down a little bit. Uh, this is a quick video. A video that I need that I've been, was wanting to talk about yesterday, but uh, after today. Uh, all right, just to give you guys a quick. Uh, as wondering, as you guys are probably thinking, what am I talking about? There was a update yes last night. In regards to Pokemon Go, now the biggest, the most glaring up part of it was that I'm gonna need to cut down the brightness here. But if you guys can see, try it with the glare. If you guys can tell, the footprints are no longer there. Now, for me, it's like hmm, okay. I mean, and I don't mind that as much. I mean, there's there's a few other up. You know, tweaks put into this, but um, there's been some controversy slash uh, uproar over the last 36 hours, maybe 48 hours, because of this one site called PokeVision. Now, PokeVision, I'm sure most of you guys will know what the hell I'm talking about, but PokeVision was a fan made website. Go operating through the Pokemon Trainer Club whenever the Pokemon Trainer Club was going, so was PokeVision. But whenever PTC was down, so was PokeVision. So, because I have reason to believe that it might have some connection to PTC. Now, whether it was authorized by Pokemon themselves or not, don't know. It's hard to say. But, John Hank, or Hanky, I could be butchering his last name, the CEO of Niantic issued a cease and desist on PokeVision and other fan-made tools. Now, he put in, in, in an interview, and this is something that, I'm going to go ahead and read, read some of this. This is off of Business Insider. I'm going to go ahead, I'll, I believe this, I'll be, um, I'll put try to put I'll have this in the description box. There, I mean, there's several other things that I want to talk about, but, uh, but I'll have this in the description box so you guys can it yourselves. But pretty much, he he stated that <sighs> he he does all right. John Hankey, CEO of Pokemon Go developer Niantic, hinted in an interview with Forbes' Brian Mack that. Popular fan-made tools like PokeVision, PokeRadar, PokeNotify may not be long for this world. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, I don't like that. Not a fan. We have priorities, but they might find in the future that those things may not work. People are only hurting themselves because it takes some fun out of the game. People are hacking around trying to take data out of our system, and that's against our terms of service. Okay. As Hanking and Hanking, they are very much against, which every player agrees to when they create their own their Pokemon Go accounts. Niantic will be well within its rights to turn off these external services if and when it chooses to. And earlier today, Pokemon Go, or PokeVision at least, has been shut down. As for Hank's argument, the one, all right, here's the thing that I want to I want to call out in a sense, John John Hank. You say it takes the fun out of the game. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a backtrack of updates. One update, the, like the first update they did, was either the first or second update, completely destroyed. I mean, unless it was deliberate, they completely broke the nearby Pokemon data piece. Like, whenever you were close, got closer to a Pokemon, like, all right. There's a, the step feature. Like, as, I, as I'm telling you guys now, it has been removed. But, back when it started, there was the three-step feature. The farther, the max distance was three. If you were getting closer to it, it would get, drop to two. If you're practically about half a block away or right on top of it, well, it would go to, to one. Well, no, if you're on top of it, it does hit Z, it would hit zero. So that, and the Pokemon, poof, would appear on your on your map. The reason people had turned to this, and I'm sure a lot of YouTube other YouTubers out there that have talked about this will agree with me. The reason a lot of players turn to this 
John, John Hank is because your nearby feature is broken and you admit that you know about it. Why have you not done anything to fix it? You say updates come two weeks in between every other week. That's for a game as hot and popular as this has as Pokemon Go has been. I've been playing since it started. And I even said, and this is coming from a guy that enjoys this game. I t will admit, I will and I may I may incriminate myself. I used Pokey Vision. For a limited amount of time. Because the nearby feature was broken. And at times. There would you know. For, in an area that my nearby couldn't see. I would you know. Pokevision would show. Oh just so you know. This Pokemon is here. That Pokemon's there. And if I had the time. I'd get up. Go and search for it myself. Now, you, for you to say it takes the fun out of the game, no, it doesn't. Your nearby tracker not working has taken the fun out of the game because you make us go around aimlessly. And now people might go in the comments saying, well, that's how it's supposed to be. Yes, I can agree. But at the same, but the thing is, you're, there, you're making us, John, you're making us walk blind completely. Pretty much by disabling the, the apps at slash... Things that have been helping make us have fun with your game. You're pretty much giving us the fuck you. That's pretty much what you're doing here. Now there are people that think that we, what John Hank, you know, shutting all these down is a good thing, and then there's people that say it's a bad thing. I call the move a double-edged sword because it can work out in John's in in, in the antic. In, in their favor, I will agree to that, but only if the nearby portion, the nearby feature, gets fixed in under a week. or Not even two weeks tops. If this stuff happens, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be gone, are going to leave. And I'm sure they don't want to. I'm sure they don't. But unfortunately... <sighs> If this shit keeps up, this is going to be a huge misfire. And I mean a huge misfire on the part of Niantic. This well, this game was a huge hit. It helped Nintendo stock rise for a good while. I mean, it's this game has to be one of the best more or at least one of the best free to plays on mobile in my book Ugh. but yeah pokey the, the pokey vision on twitter it said hey guys we wish we had some news for you at this moment we are respecting niantic and nintendo's wishes will keep you posted Well, okay, and so the part the problem I have with that, and maybe you guys can, you know, let me know what the... Where does Nintendo fall into this? I know Niantic has been bitching about it. John Hank pretty much bitched. What, how, how has Nintendo fan f flung into this? I don't know. But, um, it's just... I'll be honest. After several features, the biggest feature, the nearby footprint has been taken down you know it's re and it's really bad and that there were hackers a while you know on PC that would and oh my god I wasn't I don't wasn't around during that debacle so I'm not going to get into that but I'm going to say this and this is my opinion John Hank the CEO. Ah, here we go. I think uh, I think I may I just all right. Actually, yeah. Here we go. Here's more of the interview of John Hankey. Yeah, don't really like it. Not a fan. We have priorities right now, but they might find a future and they not work. People only hurting themselves. Yada, yada, yada. Now, 
this article, while Hank seems to have no problem with players gaming the system in order to achieve goals like hatch eggs, he does take issue with websites that report Pokemon spawns. For those who might not know, there are numerous sites around that access the data and populate a real-time map with Pokemon sightings. The sites will even show players how long a Pokemon will be in a specific area, letting them know how quickly they need to trek that way. Yes, that is true. Pokevision did do that. But at the same, but you got to remember at the same point in time, given that the glitched out the entire the nearby, unless it was deliberate, nobody was going to know what the fuck to run into. I mean, unless you unless you start making a literal one, your own kind of map your way, and that would take a whole lot of time, a whole lot of effort, which. I wouldn't personally have wouldn't have a problem with, but at the same time, it would just be tedious and frustrating here. My opinion only. On like I said, the only because of Niantic shutting down PokeVision and any other Pokemon related apps like Poke Radar, Poke Notify. I'll be honest. Because of that, if they don't, because of that move, if they don't get the three that you know, if they don't get the nearby piece, if they don't get it back up with it by the next update, whether it's one week from now, two weeks from now, at the longest a month. If they don't fix the tracker that is in the app, then Pokemon Go is going to be turned into a huge flop. And I love this game. It's, I mean, my, a friend of mine and I earlier, and I posted this on Facebook, we ran into a, it at, right in front of her condo. We had a Gengar pop up in our face. Luck, and we were lucky enough to catch it. And I'll just, you know, quick tidbit. Hers had a combat power, freak, freakishly enough, of 666. And I'm thinking, what the f... Not going to say the word, but you get the point. What the heck? <laughs> you know, but I'm getting off track here. Point is, the tracker's broken, which is what drove people to use Pokey Radar, Pokey Notify, Pokey Vision. If it wasn't for the tracker, nobody would go to these other outlandish sites, apps, whatever. John Hank, while I believe you had good intentions with your with some of your decisions, I think you're making a bad mistake. If anything, you say you have priorities. Fix the problems within the game before you release it to other countries. And I know that may sound cold-hearted of me to say. But what's the point of releasing a game to other countries if one of the biggest features is broken? Completely broken. And you blocking these sites that help others try to have fun with this game for you to say it takes away the fun is complete bullshit. No one wants to walk around aim aimlessly 20, 30 minutes to find a Magmar, to find a Charmeleon, to find a Charmander, or whatever Pokemon people struggle to find. For, I'll give an example for me. I struggle finding Snorlax, which the three-step glitch screwed me out of one, screwed me out of a Dragonite, screwed me out of Charmanders and Charmeleons, screwed me out of Wartortle, which I'm not grabbing about that as much since I have a lot of candies for that. Charmander for me has been the hardest starter to find. And today, I thank freaking God I was able to not only find one, but find a much stronger one compared to compared to these. Make sure I'm going the right way here. There we go. It apparently doesn't go all back all the way. The update seems to have screwed up the uh, 
moving the you know the page moving here. So you guys see what I'm doing. So yeah, I finally got a stronger one. Point is, you want your game to survive, but by cutting off these apps that people had to turn to while you fix your tracker, you're cutting a lot of the people off at the knees. And by saying it takes away the fun is pure bullshit. You don't have a legit reason outside of the violating terms of service, which I could pro I could understand. But again, your game has become broken. Your tracker is fucked. Fix it first. Fix it first. I don't give a fuck what you say, John Hank. You should fix your game before you send it everywhere else. Your PR damage control bullshit needs to end. There's a lot of people that say, good job you. Which I can say, good job and shame on. Because you you know that this tracker problem. You know about it, but you don't do shit about it. You sit behind your desk. And you just keep releasing to countries... Releasing a broken product. Fix your crap. Fix your game. A game that I liked, that I loved playing until all this bullshit happened. I did not expect this to turn into a rant, guys. I'm sorry, but like I said, pretty much this the whole bullshit reason he's comes up he's come up with. John Hank has given us these he's given these to every player it's become fuck you give me money in the immortal words of angry joe and i can't believe i'm having to make that analogy even though angry joe is a good is a good person so that's all i got for you guys i've said it before i'm saying it again john hank fix your shit good night